Hello everyone and welcome to the Q&A. Here is where I, guess what, answer your questions. First off I wanna clear up some questions that I hear a lot. I constantly get asked, why do you not play so much ranked? I can very easily explain to you why that is. I'm assuming pretty much all of you watch my highlight videos. And you know the crazy playstyle I have where I just run around and I hide in different corners and I see four people through walls and I run outside the building, stuff like that. Now these are really silly and stupid things that you shouldn't be doing, but I do them anyways. Because that's what makes the game fun for me. I like this game because it's not so repetitive as other games. I am everything but a tryhard. I just want to have fun and enjoy the game. I don't care about my rank. I mean it would be pretty nice to know where I'm standing, but I'm not gonna spend hours up on end in a boring game mode that I don't like, just to see how far I could get if I tried really hard. Besides, the social aspect is missing somewhat, and we couldn't have one of these fun moments like we had where Mr. Turtastic was sitting on the armor bag and denied everyone the armor and then got team killed. That's a thing that you shouldn't pull off and ranked. Because there is a lot of people that really want to play this game as a tryhard and they want to get further and they want to climb in ranks. And I do not want to ruin their experience. I do play ranked every now and then. In fact, I have several ranked videos coming up. But the matches being up to like an hour long doesn't really help me either. And if I want to move out of a match because I'm tilted or because I'm hungry or because of whatever, I can just do that in casual and not care. But it's not my main game mode, I just don't enjoy it as much. And if you want to call me a casual scrub, go ahead. I don't freaking care. Because that's what I am. I'm not a tryhard, I am a casual scrub. Another question that is asked all the time is if I have a Discord. Yes, I do in fact have one, but it is and will always be a Patreon reward. Because I feel like I should give something back when somebody supports me, and having this exclusivity is a really good way. So if you want to support me, wink. The link to the Patreon is in the description. Hello. Enough with the shameless self-promotion. Alright, let's answer some of the real questions. If Pulse wasn't bald, what haircut would you give him? The answer is right here, buddy. But only if it's included with a hitbox. How do you handle higher recoil guns that you're unfamiliar with? I just kind of play them and then try to compensate, kind of? Yeah, that's basically what I do. I kind of just get used to it after a while. I put an extended barrel on Bug CA just for the lulz. And I can actually kind of control it now. It's fun. What would you do if you weren't a YouTuber and will you make Battlefield 1 videos? Yes to the Battlefield 1 thing? And honestly, I don't know what I would have been doing. I've done logistics up to that point just because I didn't have anything to show. I kind of got pushed into it, it's a long story. It's a thing I don't like and I didn't look forward to do this all my life long. But now since this YouTube channel is a thing, I'll try and make that whatever I can because this is my actual passion. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Now, what's your favorite map? Probably Cafe Dostoevsky. I like the bigger maps in general because you have so many ways and routes you can go and so many opportunities to flank and so many angles you can attack an objective from. Bank and Border are definitely high on my list too. I had the itch to go back into shooters for the longest time. I hadn't played any for like 5 years before I started playing Siege again. But I didn't really find any and then I saw Total Biscuit talk about Rainbow Six Siege and how awesome this game is and how new and different it is. And I picked it up and kind of got addicted. Why are you making your videos in English? You could be the biggest German Rainbow Six Siege channel on YouTube. There's multiple answers for that. First off, I feel more confident in speaking English. Even though my English is horrible compared to my German. I'm pretty sure a lot of non-English speakers can relate that they have kind of a little bit of a different personality when speaking English compared to their mother tongue. My friends and most people that I play with are actually from other countries other than Germany. So I am obliged to speak English all the time. And why should I make a German YouTube channel when I speak English in the videos anyways? It just makes no sense to me. Besides, I can reach a much wider audience with English. I know exactly who is watching my videos. I have the exact numbers. I have the statistics. And I'm telling you right here, I am not gonna drop 90% of my audience just to speak German. It just makes no sense whatsoever and I'm excluding so many people. And in the current time we're living in, I'm expecting at least the younger German generations to speak proper English. Enough for them to watch my videos and understand what I'm saying. Because you can't really live without English anymore. 
Do you think in English or in German? Most of the time when I'm at home because all of the stuff that I do is English, I kind of just get into an English, into an English mind, I guess. I start thinking in English and I start speaking to myself in English. Because I use it all day, but when I'm working and I constantly have to talk and interact with people in German, then that's a completely different thing. I think the starter edition is a really, really good addition to the game. You can get people to play that never wanted to play in the first place because the price was just too expensive. And more options is always better. Now you can just drop these 10 or 15 bucks, whatever it is in your country, get your friends to play it, and then when they see the game is actually really good, they can spend another like 10 or 15 bucks on some operators when they're too lazy to actually farm them. So yeah, it's practically the perfect solution. I love it. Should PC and consoles be balanced separately? That's a really tough one. In general, I would say yes. Because the controls are just so different. And just look, Overwatch is doing it too. But yeah, then there is this keyboard and mouse thingy that's coming out for all the consoles, so I don't know. They've put themselves in a really awkward spot there. Thermite kind of needs a nerf because he's on 100% pick rate, but then again he doesn't really need a nerf, he just needs a different option. Like a second operator that can also breach reinforced walls, anything like that. The rook problem has been solved by buffing Doc, so yeah, we just need another Thermite at this point. Because 100% pick rate is not really healthy for the game. I don't think anyone else like Jaeger or something needs a nerf, but I, I'm pretty sure the other operators just need a buff to get on the same level. Or maybe Jaeger's gun is too strong, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. Advice for someone that's trying to start out on YouTube. Look, it's really tough to get advice like that, but what I can tell you is that I did something completely different that nobody else really did, which was my Killspot video, which kind of blew up. And I've gotten most of the people from there. And uh, from that point on, I just was really consistent with the videos, pumping out multiple videos a week, at times even one video a day. That's basically what I'm aiming for at this point. So yeah, as soon as you actually kind of blow up, just stay consistent. That's all I can say. But then again, there is a huge amount of luck involved. And YouTube just has a lot to do with RNG. Like, it sounds ridiculous, but it actually is. You need a lot of luck to actually be discovered on YouTube. And nobody really knows why. Even the people on YouTube don't know why that is. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. What's your biggest struggle with being a YouTuber? Jesus Christ. I don't even know where to start. I love the stuff that I'm doing. But I gotta admit, there's a lot more downsides than you would think. What is my personal biggest gripe with it? It is what I just talked about, being consistent with it. I just came home from a night shift, it is half past 7am, I should have got to sleep hours ago. But here I'm sitting making this Q&A instead. I wanted to save that for a little bit later when I actually had a little bit more time for that. But here I'm sitting now because I didn't have enough clips for another highlight reel that I actually wanted to release in a few hours. Main problem with that is the servers were down and I was not able to collect any clips. And I have a little bit of backup but I kind of just want to release highlight reels as much as I can because those are the most fun to watch. You guys like those the most. I like those the most. And I feel like they make really good content but I'm constantly under time pressure and I'm... I'm basically completely spending my entire free time on this YouTube thing. I barely get time for myself or for other things that I really wanted to do. I have so many video ideas that I really want to just make but I don't have the time for all of them. Because it's just too much work and I only have so much time. And it's really, really frustrating. Many of you probably don't even realize how much time it takes to do all these videos. Like, people are expecting me to pump out like a Killspot video every week but they don't realize that I spend a good like 15 to 20 hours editing those and it's crazy. I just started editing the next Killspot video and I sat down with a friend and took apart the entire map and we literally spent three hours just taking apart everything there is. And now cutting all of that together, that takes so much time. I should have really become a Let's Player. I'll do the last few questions in rapid fire. I'm pretty neutral, there's no difference for me. I probably had the most fun making a homage to Pulse, which most of you probably haven't seen, I'll link it here. But I was absolutely laughing my ass off when I did that IQ video. It's pretty obvious, my name is actually Mohammed. Pancakes all the way! Sony Vegas. <sighs> Next one's on the way, that's all I can say. No, look, 
You should really be ashamed of yourself for asking that question, and I am not gonna grant you that wish. Alright, that's about it for today's Q&A. I'm gonna do more of this, I don't know how often those will pop up. I'll make one every now and then, I'll just stick to monthly for now. So if you have any questions, pop them down in the comments, I will read them and answer them next time. Also, maybe you guys can help me, because I am really uncreative with names, and I really need a proper name for this Q&A thingy if I want to do it more often. So feel free to suggest a name or anything. So just feel free to suggest a name. I'm looking for something catchy and not siege related. If you find something, just tell me. But yeah, I'll, I'll pick the best one that I find. And thanks for watching the video. Have a good one. See ya.